Um, hello everyone. Uh, in this episode, it's uh, it's just a little chat, sort of interview we had with a fellow we met called Neil, Neil Pater, offshore racer, a uh, pretty cool guy. Uh, yeah, had a really nice week and got sport with him and spent a lot of time with him. And he sort of yeah gave us a lot of tricks and tips and yeah grateful for the time I spent with him. So I have a little watch of that and check out stuff with regards to the Ostar race. And uh, what else has been happening? Yeah, we've got 151 subscribers, so big shout out, to, you know, big thank you to everyone that's subscribed and taking time out of their busy schedules to watch our videos. It really means a lot to us. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You know, Christmas is coming up, so I wanted to wish you all a happy Christmas. Hopefully we'll uh, get a chance to wish you a happy new year uh, next week, I suppose. Yeah, we probably would. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a good Christmas, have a few beers, spend some time with the people you can, and hopefully get involved with a bit of sailing, you know, in between Christmas and New Year's. Got to have a New Year's Day sail. And uh, yeah. Goodbye. Okay, you ready? But you've got to tell me what to do. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so you asked me the questions. Okay, well, let's say that before we even knew your name, we were already in your bow the other day. <laughs> yeah, was, my name's Neil Peter, or if you like, Nilo Puello, it's like, you, as you like. <laughs> um, my boat's out here, this is our restaurant. Um, Which is closed at the moment. It's closed, therefore I have all of my sails, all of my shit in here. <laughs> um, but... I have my lovely assistant here. <laughs> Se llama Marina, no? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and my boat's outside, now. Let's have a look. You want to come and look at my boat? Yeah. You want to come on my boat? So we have another Spanish person there. Alex! <laughs> what? You're being recorded! Hello! <laughs> All my sponsors there, Haz La Marina, Trinity's at the light ship. Let's see, we can see here. We also have... That's um, the boat. That's the boat, so it's a Caribarilla. In Espanol, that means rogue in Venezuela. I didn't know that. Well, darling, some English people teach you Spanish people a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> so she's called COVID-19. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. You see the number? So we have ballast tanks, so we can flood the boat with water. Yeah. Um, this is the pipes to take the air out of the tank. So I can take 750 litre or 750 kilo per side. Mm -hmm. Alex, do you want to put the lights on? Or are you busy? I'm busy right now. Um, go on, you. Maybe it's two? It's two of this one there. Yeah. <coughs> so we also have... We're raising money for charity. Oh yeah, that's important. I'll put the links in the description. Yep. Okay, so we have tw twin rudders on the boat. So each side, you see? Yeah. It's connected with a bar here. We have steering system each side. Uh -huh. <laughs> but when I'm not hand steering like this, in here, somewhere. I have hydraulic pump, hydraulic ram. This is what steers the boat. Mm -hmm. So I have two independent systems, one each side. So I can just, with electronics, the boat has its own brain and it steers itself. That's what I say. So do you want to go inside and look at um, yeah. Roger the cabin boy? Steward is inside. Show us around what's inside. So, as I said, you, you come into the boat. Yep. So, when I want to sleep, I've got four beds here. They're called pipe cots. This is how you sleep. <laughs> In here, 750 litres seawater so that I can keep my boat from tipping up. Then, how do I control all this? Oh, with yeah, difficulty. So, here is an inlet from the sea. Push it down. I 
won't complicate it, but by di diverting these valve, yeah. I can put water from that tank to that tank, and I can put 750 kilos. That is 10 average man's size sitting on the side of my boat. Oh, it's probably about 20 little Spanish girls. <laughs> Depends on the Spanish girls, I know. <laughs> so, then we have the nav station. Yeah. Um, so, I have a satellite system here, satellite telephone there. Um, we have a Raymarine chart plot, that, which is we're just um, setting up now. Yeah. <laughs> I also have. Uh, an iPad there that also can do this yeah. and as you can see either side another ballast tank um, another couple of beds yeah. then also with my sails I can use them also as ballast yeah so so if this is where the boat's trying to you know the windward side mm -hmm. I can put all my spare sails, sails in these beds yeah um, and in here is like the honeymoon suite, but you don't want to see that because you've got a boyfriend, haven't you? I think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> what safety equipment you've got? Um, safety equipment, oh, absolutely. We are well trained. We've done uh, a lot of courses. I mean, for example, here I have uh, in the purpose, so it's an emergency positioning indicating radio beacon. Mm -hmm. I have a satellite phone there. Yep. I have one also for my life raft, satellite communications there. I have a VHF radio mm -hmm. and I have um, in my life raft, which is in the cockpit, Marlborough Light and Stella Artois. <laughs> That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> What about, what's the, what, what, tell us about the race you're going to... Well, the race we're going to do is called the Oster. Um, so, it set off in the, I think, 1960. So, it was called the Observer, as in a newspaper, the Observer Single-Handed Transatlantic Race. Um, so, every four years, mm -hmm. it's, it's been going. And at first, they um, had a bet for uh, I think it was uh, half a crown which is um, it's a bit like you for being Spanish it's like a veinte duros you know yeah. it's a uh, silver coin mm -hmm. um, so anyway since then every four years the race has gone I did the last one the only Englishman to finish and my pride pride possession is a silver half crown from 1960 for just coming second in the last race. Wow, so hopefully you'll get first on this one. I've got to finish it first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where and does it go from? I know it's from Plymouth, Royal Western Yacht Club. Yeah. And it goes to Newport, Rhode Island, to Newport Yacht Club. What time of the year are you doing this? May the 8th, we're leaving. Cool. Yeah. You have to be mad to do this, but. <laughs> You're pretty mad, as we've already Well, oh, thank you very <laughs> much, darling. <laughs> <laughs> well, good luck in the race, and thank you for the hospitality, too. And you're, you're very welcome for that, and you've got more to come, darling. Okay. <laughs> so, as I always say, peace and love, man. Yeah. Peace and love. <laughs> and good luck.